Okay. So, longest common prefix in JavaScript. What we're supposed to do is search through an array of strings and find the longest set of letters that is the prefix or basically the whatever the common letters are in the first uh, few letters of each string, right? So if this is the letters we're searching for, we're supposed to find FL. And there's no commons letter combinations in the front here, so we're supposed to return an empty string for that one. So for this one, basically what we're going to do is loop through this array of strings. And while we're doing that, we're going to go and compare this word to this word. And while we're comparing the different words, we're going to just make one of the words shorter until this is found in the other one. So start out we're just going to make sure we're just going to make sure here that uh, there is an input. And then what we're going to do is create a variable called prefix. So this prefix is set to flower. Then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of these input strings here. And then we're going to have a while loop inside of the for loop. And here we're going to see if we can't find, uh, if we can't find this prefix, a pre common prefix inside of these two items here. So we set i to one because prefix is already, this is already prefix, right? So we need to compare this string to that string. So this is zero and this is one. So the while loop So we're using uh, the index of here to compare And then we're going to reset prefix to a new, to a substring here. So to substring uh, of itself, and we're just going to make it one smaller every time. 
So it would be like this. Now it would be missing the R. And then the next time through, it would be missing the ER. I'll console log this out here in a sec. And then simply return. So let's make sure I type this out correctly. I did. Great. So let's do some consoles here. Let's, uh, let's throw, uh, let's throw this one in. Uh, we need a console log there. So if I run this, you can see the prefix decreasing there. Actually, let's throw it in here. Run that again. So you can see the prefix decreasing here, right? First it starts off, and this is just missing the R, and then it is uh, missing the E as well until we finally get down to FL. And then at the end, just we're just returning it there. So when this while loop actually compares the strings and finds a match, it'll increment and go and compare the next uh, string inside of the array. And because flow is in flow and flower would be the same prefix, well, when we get to comparing flight here, right, we're going to have to subtract a few more letters to get down to just the FL. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.